Got Everything sweet by Charles Miles. How y'all doing? This is Charles with Everything Sweet. Today we are making de a delicious dessert. We are making oh sweet potato coconut square. Okay, just like a sweet potato pie, got a little coconut in it. We're gonna cut it in square. Delicious. Okay. Now this is what you're gonna need to accomplish that task. We have one can of evaporated milk. We got a cup and a half brown sugar. We got three, two cups of baked not boiled sweet potato. Let me say again: baked not boiled sweet potato. We got a stick and a half of butter. We got a cup of coconut. Here we have our nutmeg and our cinnamon, and we, we're gonna use lemon flavor instead of your tradition. But now, okay, over here in the fridge, we made our pie dough. And if you want to make your pie dough, you can. Just go to our page and it will be there. Or uh, you can use the kind we normally use, the pre-made ones. You know, the two come in a pack. You can roll them out, piece them together, and put them in your pan. Now, this pan we're using is a 10 by 15, okay? Got a little size on it. We uh, greased the bottom up and we put uh, some paper in it, okay? All right, we're going to begin by rolling our pie dough. And then once we get that rolled in our pan, then we'll start making our sweet potato. Okay, we got this wrapped up here. <clears throat> Made this a couple days ago. You know, you sometimes you just gotta make some stuff. Because if you don't make some stuff, then you forget some stuff. So I said, come on, let's just, let's just make some pie dough this time. Because we hadn't made it in quite a while. We've been using the pre-made one. Pre-made one works pretty good, you know. We got a little flour, dust some flour, and put on out. Okay, we got a little dust of flour going on board. Need some of that now. Cause you don't want to stick. I'm gonna flatten it down just a little bit here. And it just came out of free, so it's a little. You know, a little bashful, a little chill. Put a little on the top here. We're going to start rolling it out, lift that pan in. I'll start telling y'all last, last video about the nice couple we met that had, was having a state sale. And the young man was telling me, you know, we're we going to talk about bacon, don't care what we do. And I asked him, did he have any, any you know, bacon, you know, stuff that I could use. And he said, yeah, we got a few. He said, my wife don't do it no more. But he got telling me about coconut pie his mama used to make. Sweet potato coconut pie. Man, that sounds very interesting. She's man, that's the best thing we ever want to eat. So, we made him one, took it over there. He was very appreciated. And uh, he said, we are sending us text. We're going to read that to you a little later on in the video. But, you know. So, I said, okay. I didn't get a piece of it, you know, I didn't taste none, but I'm going to taste this one. And that's where the motivation comes from for this uh, coconut sweet potato scraps from him and his mom. And that text was kind of tear dropping. He said every time, you know, he took a bite, he reminded me of his mother. You know, he he 83, so, you know, his mother been gone a while. She and that big bacon, bacon. Uh, up there in that, that upper lunch bacon thing up there, okay? 
So, and uh, just for him to, you know, say, remind him of his mother, you know, that did us all the good in the world. Yeah, we're going to trim them edges off like that. Now, don't throw that pie to the weight now. Because you can use that for another project. Now, we come all the way up the size. Most people just going to bottom. We're going to come up the size and we're going to hope it don't burn. Okay. Now, we're going to take a fork and put some holes in there because that's a large bottom. And what can happen, air bubbles can be up on your pie dough. And as you bake, the air bubbles, air bubbles will come up and kind of mess your, uh, your project up a little bit. So, we're going to punch a few holes in it. Throw that away. Keep that. We'll put a few holes in it so that heat underneath can have somewhere to go. We'll be right back. Okay, we got our two cups of sweet potato in. We're going to beat them and let them get smooth before we add anything else. So we're going to turn that on third gear and let them beat. Now, you might have some strings in them. They should get caught on the, on the batter dash. And we'll take that out, rinse it off, and we'll start again, okay? Okay, as the potatoes go up, we're going to straight the bowl, get them down some. We're going to all them mix fine. Look at that color, baby. That's what you get when you bake your potato instead of boiling. Then you got all the nutrients in your potato that's still in here. They're not in the boil water. So baby, don't bake, don't, don't, don't boil your potatoes. Come on now, don't boil them. Put them in the oven, bake them back, okay? Okay, I don't see any strings on our batter dash, so maybe these were stringless. Okay. Gonna add our butter to this. Make sure you pack that brown sugar in now. It don't look like that white sugar. That white sugar just automatically falls in the plate. It's brown. It's stubborn. So you have to let it know who in charge. So you got to pack that in. Okay? Yeah? Now we're going to straighten the sides down. Get over that color, baby. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Man. That is just beautiful. Okay, we're going to add our spices. Spices going in. Aromatic, some people call it. And a teaspoon for oh. Um, vanilla ex uh, lemon extract. Don't let that mix. Alright, three eggs are going in. I'm going to beat them just a wee bit. I didn't beat them like they stole something. You know, I beat them like they uh, didn't pay attention to what I was saying.
see. We need it all. And this way you make your adjustment on the milk. Depends on how super you want it and how stiff you want it. Call for one cup. We got a cup in one in uh, one fourth. And we're gonna look at our batter and see what we want it in. Down. I guess we need to cut it off before we straight down. Oh, smell. I don't know what that much is. Is it Christmas? Is it Thanksgiving? It sure smell like it. Chalk, we see the strings now. See them strings right there? We got strings right there too. So they only batter dash. So you don't want to get that in your mix, okay? Let's take that and put it in the sink. Now I know what y'all saying. You see it's supposed to be coconut, yeah. We ain't gonna mix our coconut in. We're gonna fold it in, okay? We got a cup of coconuts. Gonna fold that in. already preheated on 350. It takes anywhere from 45 to 50 minutes. Depends on your oven. Okay, we're doing the uh, pan here. Smell it. Can y'all smell it? Hmm. Y'all smell it when you get in the kitchen and start making this thing. Lord, how much y'all need to call me and ask me, can I smell it? Oh, Lord, how much? Hmm. Chef, I don't want that, that pie dough to start browning before, you know, our pie get done, so we're going to put it on the bottom shelf there, okay, that's all you got to do, you want that pie crust to get brown, put it on the bottom shelf, a little bit, all right, we're going in, we're going to set it for 45, Alright, right, we'll be back. Just like that. Alright, about 50, 50 to 55 minutes, we're coming out. See the coconut I sprinkle on there? Midway of the timer. Put 45 minutes on there. 25 minutes gone, I put... Uh, Sprinkle coconuts on there and let it continue to cook. Once it got, got 45 minutes, 
we looked at it, put another 10 minutes on, okay? Now, it's going to have to completely cool before we can cut it in squares, okay? So, y'all stay with us. Don't go nowhere. We'll be back when this big thing here cool down. We'll be ready to uh, make some slices. We'll be right back. How y'all doing, guys? We back. After about two hours and a half, we let them completely cool. Then we cut them. We turn it this way. We got three cuts this way, okay? Then we turn it this way, and we got five cut this way, okay? But, you know, that's the way we cut them. You know, if you got a party going on, then you might want to cut them smaller. You might want to go here, here, and here. Then instead of those, you, you go those half. It depends on how big you want them and what the occasion is for. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and plate them up. Get out of the spatula here. And uh, we're going to plate them up. Okay, we're going to continue to plate them up, and we'll be right back for the taste test, okay? Our sweet potato, coconut bars. Look at that crust there. Look at it. Hmm. I'll tell you that crust in here. You see that crust when you make it yourself? Yeah, look at that, that crust here. And sweet potatoes and coconut. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. I'm going to stop right here. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Let me just chew this up. And I'm going to put them all in. promise. Mmm. You hear me moaning and groaning? That sweet potato and coconut just having a part inside my mouth. Mmm. Them taste bugs just jumping up with their balloons and little hats on. Try this recipe. Now, if you're not a subscriber, this would be the perfect time to subscribe. Go ahead and check that thing and hit the subscribe button. We'll definitely appreciate it, and you'll definitely appreciate it too. When you start getting them noticed when Charles in the kitchen. Or when Charles in the kitchen, that's when you need to be in the kitchen. Now I told you about this uh uh sale we went to. Steak sale. Met these nice people and we got stopping about baking and cooking and said mama used to make him a yeah, you know, sweet potato coconut pie. And I said, okay. But in some kind of way, we were looking around, they had a big box of potatoes. Sweet potato. I said, how much did he? He said, man, just take them. I said, just take them? He said, yeah, we ain't gonna do nothing with So we took the sweet potato. We made uh, his daughter a sweet potato pie in case she said she never had one. We made him what his mama used to make him sweet potato coconut pie. Let me, let me skip my wife to read this text to you. Uh, if I can locate it, just hold on for a minute. We'll be right back. Okay, we couldn't find the text, but we will find it and we'll post it so you can read it, okay? Now, just like I said, it's a good time to subscribe to the channel. Take that thing and go ahead and subscribe. And don't thank you through. You got to hit share and like. Tell your friends and tell your neighbor. We on the move. You know, Charles is in town. And when Charles is in town, he basically is in the kitchen. And when he's in the kitchen, you need to be in the kitchen. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Now, here my son, he's going to taste test here, this uh, sweet potato coconut uh, bar, and he's going to close it out. And we'll be back next week with another delicious dessert. I don't like coconut, but I eat that. You tell me No, because they know I don't like coconut, but I eat that. I eat it on there.
Subscribe. <laughs> I'm taking this. All right. <laughs>